New Brunswick Films presents Waste Products, Scourge of Productivity. Who are these dregs of society, these filthy specimens of non-humanity, these incessant failures, these depraved monsters lacking in the skill required to host television documentaries, these awful, awful people? Who are they? Noted social theorist D.M. Dimble called them waste products. So should you. And now, a glimpse into their tortured lives. They begin their day like you or me, but look at the hour. Not 5 a.m. as with normal people, but quite late in the day. It must be at least 3 o'clock. Now I can only sleep during, I had to change my sleeping schedule where I can only sleep in the day because I couldn't stand the sight of sunlight for a while. I'm coming around a little bit, but I still can't go out there, man. It's a scary world out there, man. It is a scary world. In some cases, the waste product will sleep well past nightfall in an effort to just snore through the day. But what about productivity? These people don't even know the meaning of the word. They can't hold jobs, hands, or money. Ramen torment. All they hold on to are their lives of drug and drink addiction, pausing only to insult their God-fearing parents, pausing still further to kick the family dog. Apathy. What is it? Why is it so prevalent? The dictionary defines apathy as... as something. I don't care, really. But these folks care even less. Entropy. A fact of life. Continuous disintegration. A continual rotting process in the brain, heart, and soul. You see that, man? There ain't nothing out there but... trash. And see, I remember when life was nothing but broads and bands, man. Now it's just clouds, blue sky, sunlight, and trash. Lung cancer, liver trouble, heartburn, all in their futures. Waste, destruction, despair. It wasn't the kind of life that you can live, man. It was the kind of life you didn't want to live. And now look out there, man. Don't let this happen to you. Don't let your chances of a high-paying job with a faceless corporation be seriously compromised. Stay in school. Read a good book. Learn a second language. Wake up and then smell the coffee, because the early bird doesn't get heartburn.